Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are at a new point of view of Linea Pelle. Today, it's really an important day that we start in the 28th of July to welcome back some of our guests to talk about cutting edge technologies and sneakers and leather goods customization. It's really a special time that because for the first time we have put it together uh, three different uh, subjects in uh, that in the cutting edge customization can count a lot in digital manufacturing. We have Loretto di Rienzo. Welcome from Dilon. Ciao Loretto. Ciao. Ciao everybody. Ciao, and then we have Giulio Sonnino, North American Sales Direction of Framis Italia. Ciao, Giulio. Hello, hello to everybody. And Nick Angustavo, that welcome back. Good morning from LA. Good morning, good morning, everybody, or good evening. <laughs> yes, I say welcome back because we already met, I think, one month ago. And then we were talking about customization, but now because customization is so serious, so we said, let, let put together all the subjects and talk a little bit more. And also give more details to our uh, participants, what's going on. Loreto, Loreto, you are the master crafter, digital god. So what's going on in the, Contemporary cutting edge automation customization. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, it's only the experience uh, because it's 30 years I make it uh, in, I work in the technology world. Technology is uh, the instrument. Technology is for me the, um, the, um, uh, instrument for uh, make it and realize what designer ask, what the designer want, or in the same times for uh, show to the designer what the technology have the possibility for realize. Because uh, technology in the moment uh, uh, born one new technology, the application is not um, evident. And normally designer won't uh, see what the technology have the possibility for make, which uh, capacity have. And for this is important to have this uh, connection, this sensibility for know the very inside the technology on one side, but another side the sensibility for understand what designer uh, think, uh, what designer prefer, what designer want to uh, uh, make it. And this connection is very important uh, because it's not one experience in the surface, but it's really have a collaboration with the factory what produces technologies and, and machine material, and at the same time work with designer for understand what uh, design make in this moment. I have worked in the atelier because designer want to show me one material, one leather in which mood work. And I have to uh, think which technology is good for arrive at this, uh, at this focus, at this goal. So this is, this makes me giving the floor to Nick and Gustavo. Uh, wh what's going on in your design experience? Because customization is the main aspect of your activity in La La Land. So, can you show us some, some samples just to go in deep in what does it mean customization for you? Sure. I think um, for us, I think it's playing with different concepts and uh, different, uh, you know, uh, ideas in order to bring something unique to our clients, something that has never been seen before or something that, uh, it's just very special to them. So, uh, like like Loretta was saying, he there's a 
technology is, is a tool to be able to achieve this and to be able to uh, push the boundaries forward. Uh, so some of what we have done, Nick is, is gonna show here. So, um, <laughs> so make a lot of recognizable uh, pieces, silhouettes and um, rebuild them uh, using special materials or Lux materials or anything that the client wants really. Um, so I think, uh, you know, starting off with a uh, recognizable, uh, you know, shoe or bag or some sort of leather good um, really adds to the, um, I guess, the hype of uh, what it is we do. Um, and that's what really excites our clients. And I think uh, also just bringing them, you know, different technologies and stuff like that for this one uh you know the all, all of the little pieces right here are like you, there's some sort of a texture to it which our clients you know really enjoyed uh because it's it's a it's a lot more details so that that's what we just really like to do and then here is a a duffel bag that we made and this is using just two uh two game jerseys uh <laughs> Bryant. So two uh, two different jerseys, and then uh, once you get close up to it, all this black is a uh, a nice python skin um, to kind of kind of go with the whole black mamba theme. Um, so again, just taking apart things and uh, putting them back together to make something else. Right, and with unique concepts, um, and you know, at the highest quality that we possibly can. Uh, now let me jump inside because I like now to invite also Julio from Promise. How is the collaboration between Julio and Loreto when they have a designer that come up with an idea, like some of the example you see now, and then you try to improve and make suggestion of different innovation that you can apply rather than use the normal piping or stitching or bonding in a classic way. Because I think this is a kind of competence that you improve. Julio, which is your side? But first of all, it's not Julio that does the job here. It's more Loreto. Loreto would come to Framis and bring the customer in and show inside from is using sometimes machines, sometimes a heat press, and he goes to his lab and he does some laser cutting and some applying, and he may he excites all the designers on the new way of this year, and that for, that makes a new trend because at the end of the year, uh, Loreto many times has created trends in the past years which is something incredible yeah, yeah very incredible hmm. so this is important to say this so loreto which is the uh, crafting master in this case can switch and can know also how to personalize the machine correct so Loreto, so how this is going? The machine is not, yeah, it's also personalized, but depending on what he wants to do and how he wants to work the fabric and what type of decoration or welding he wants to do, because there is a heck of a lot of customization and decoration and embellishment, but also there is a lot of bonding instead of sewing. So instead of sewing a fabric to another fabric, now you start bonding the fabric to another fabric using a glue on adhesive, mm -hmm. and that's what yeah. Loreto has been doing for the past years and uh, is exciting all the mega design directors of the most famous brands yes really um, i i work with the thousand thousand designer in my life and all this uh, experience have make one sensibility you know for understand what the world of designer in progress want uh, really i don't create the, uh, the tendency really i introduce the new solution new possibility in the fashion this is the example of the term welding uh, uh, approach uh, this is now for example we make uh, 
industrialization, 3D print, uh, uh, with the strategies, we have made one collaboration for introduce, for example, this, this is one example, for introduce uh, the industrial production in the faction. And uh, <clears throat> in this mood, I understand where is the feel with the designer. And uh, I show, because the technology uh, give one a very strong possibility, diversification. Diversification in different moments, in the fabric, in the pieces before assembling and in the finish, in the finish uh, uh, garment or accessory. Now, for example, with Framis, I push for change the machine for customize one by one because normally production is more industrial. Now I push, no, I, I want a modification, mod, uh, modification of the machine. Customization so, of the machine. One by one. And this is the, the feeling, you no, know, this is the collaboration. So let me let me get understanding this part. Uh, modifying the machine to do one by one product, it's also th something that the designer like Nick and Gustavo are doing. They personalize and they customize one by one a pair of shoes or a bag for their client. So which is we assume is really one of the uh, upcoming business in California. So Nick and Gustavo, how can you match these kind of elements with your final user? I think there's a lot of opportunity there to, uh, to, to merge together because like uh, Loretta was saying that there's, you know, a lot of different spots where it can be put, whether it's like at the beginning stages or when it's getting sewn together or at the final stages. And I think all of that is kind of uh, right up our alley. I think, you know, seeing some of the samples that, um, you know, you guys have been able to create is, is really inspiring in how we can use different uh, machinery and textures and um, all the laser cutting and printing and all that is, is truly great. Yeah, it changes the way that we uh, you know, think about executing uh, what we what we want to make, um, mm. and and from there, I mean, it just just based on the few samples that uh, Loretto has shown already, I mean, you know, my mind's racing with how can we incorporate that, uh, or the different ways that we can incorporate that into what we do. Um, so, I mean, it, for me, possibilities are almost endless. So now we want to see Loreto. Can you show us another sample? I want to, I, I, I'm a little curious. Yes. I want to see how can we match these techniques and then Nick and Gustavo can say, ah, oh, this is beautiful for this part of the shoe. Yes, Allora, we all, uh, uh, our technology is possible to make it with a different uh, uh, material, for example. Uh, but it's possible uh, assembling with the different uh, material. This is one, one t-shirt customized mm -hmm. because, for example, this is one technology, this is laser, cutted, thermo weld. This is the uh, same graphics, but another interpretation. They, I make this with uh, uh, one artist, no good, but I give the solution, technology, technological uh, tech solution. And same graphics with incredible uh, different technology. This is one uh, uh, French and printed in uh, the top. And here, for example, these artists make different material with embossed 3D uh, dimension. For me, what is important? Show, for example, to the artist or designer one application one particular material, one mirror material with the thickness. And after designer decide which, uh, in which place, which form, which application, because normally this work is very technical because here I applicate this up the ladder and normally it's not possible this, uh, this, yeah. this application. But we have made it and this is a functionality. This uh, is industrialized, it is not only one exercise. This really work. This is possible. Uh, make the one product, and this is uh, uh, for manutention and all this state. This is very. Uh, this is the 
okay, in, uh, very important for me. Um, important is, for example, use, uh, we use uh, uh, near 10 different technologies. And now we introduce, for example, this is make it one uh, and made, okay? But really, for example, now I start to study how the robot is possible to help, for example, in this direction. And this is this give one new possibility, new uh, result, uh, what just now don't exist. Right. Right. So uh, you mentioned about material. How, how can you match the same techniques if you have leather, maybe different types of leather, like calf leather or goat, or maybe, and then you have a textile or a compound like a no woven leather, because this can happen in a, fin in a finished product because manufacturing means putting together the different material and then using the technology to wrap it up. So how can you face this? Yes, for example, uh, we, uh, when the designer asked me uh, one uh, possibility, we are Italian and we don't speak uh, anymore, any time, no, it's not possible. Every time Italian speak, I try to make. And this is probably one uh, value, you know, in the, about the manufacturing approach. In this case, we make the sample, one prototype and uh, speak with designer for understand you like is this is the direction but just after we make all tests for uh, demonstrate this is possible the, combi the combination is possible make this combination because it's not sure when we speak uh, um, about the different material all is for uh, testing because don't have history before it's very important to have experience and have uh, know-how for understand this possible, this material, different material work, unite or don't work. But in any case, we have to make in the laboratory um, the testing for uh, manutention, for stability, uh, for quality, and many times for uh, understand this is uh, possible industrialized or this is one only one piece is uh, for the show, one piece is uh, customized and stop. So now I'm curious about Julia. What's going on in the machine industry? <laughs> so mostly now, after, after this uh, COVID or in the middle of the COVID, what's going on? Which kind of changes you have as a machine company? Yeah. Uh... Well, more than the machine thing, let me show you something and uh, let me see if you see it. Yes, yes, we are curious. We have a lot of surprise today. <laughs> Give me a second. You see this? Yeah. Oh, wait, let me lift it up. Are you destroying your office? Okay. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. What color do you see? Oh, the camera is too far away. Let me get closer to the camera. Can you see it better now? There you go. You have to focus the t-shirt because you are not focused on the t-shirt. Ready. Wait. I have a better idea. I took one from the wall. This is this project here is a project that we took those colors created by. Can you see the colors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is football guys from LA. Okay. This, this is Adidas. Yeah. College football games. Okay. So our films that Loreto uses for super high design brands, like the, the, like the brands that Loreto usually works with. And we use exactly the same technology, and this could be interesting for you two guys, 
even for a simple, well, simple, not really, because there's a heck of a lot of work into this, into this garment. But this is a football garment, okay? You can see it, no? It's a front, it's a back, and it's numbers here. And they used a mixture of dream that is welded to the fabric. Let me get closer and closer and closer. Can you see it? Yeah. 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 Okay, so what I'm trying to, sh to show you here is that even a customer like Adidas was very interested in using our films by laser cut, we laser cut it for Adidas and we send it to Adidas already cut into shapes ready to be applied with a heat press on the vests uh, in the US. They have been applied in a US, uh, in, in a few US factories and uh, Adidas use it uh, for, for, the, for, for the football and now Nike also use it for, since a few years, but it is a lot. And what they like about our films, and you too, I'm sure this is important for you too, you like things that show a lot, flashy stuff, no? Okay. So uh, they like the idea of our dream with all the funny colors that this dream has because it's super flashy. So when you get it on TV, it's super flashy. So you really shine out and it brings the attention of the whole stadium watching TV and watching the players uh, playing. Yeah. Just to say how, how different. I mean, Loreto, an incredible world, and Adidas, and Nike, and it's a completely different world, but with enormous volumes. So, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. very yeah, cool. It is, yeah, it is. And Nick and Gustavo, uh, how can you see this technology uh, applied in your product? Because I remember you work in this kind of little details like the embroideries, and I like it when Julia say these kind of flashy colors that attract, because I remember that also you work with a different sports uh, event in LA, in, uh, in Miami. So how can you see these kind of things incorporated in your product? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it would just be up to us to, um, design them correctly so that they apply to uh, the things that we're making. Um, yeah, but I think, endless, again, endless possibilities on that. I really like the, the, the tapes, the 3D uh, printing on the leather. I think that's amazing. I, I haven't seen that around before. And, you know, I think that what you guys are doing in terms of pushing the boundaries there, I think is, is great and I think being able to implement that into all of our products because like like Orietta said we work with a lot of very detailed uh, you know concepts that you know those little details matter of uh, if the you know print can be raised a little bit it's gonna take it that much further if you know there's tape all over it because it makes sense with the concept that's going to take it that much further. So I think, you know, being able to see all this technology is, is amazing. I, yeah. I, I also like to, to listen to the opinion of Loreto because you said pushing the boundaries. This means uh, this is a very specific time where the customization means explore creativity using technologies and also exploring technology to go more in a personalized details because i learned from you guys to recognize the little details of the fan of sneakers and fan of bags and little objects so loretta which are maybe some secret suggestion you want to give today <laughs> Yes, for, but first I, I want to uh, um, put in evidence one uh, uh, important more. 
moment for customization is important uh, designer entry in the manufacturing in the factory work inside because in the moment the design work inside have these tools for create with the uh, person have uh, experience and know-how inside the uh, factory because just now the designer world uh, receive the solution receive the possibility but now i think market going the next step the next step is make more uh, intensive collaboration because uh, uh, quantity is not uh, uh, big because in the moment we speak about customization customization is one by one but it's possible my uh, power go in the direction for uh, harmonize the um, the production in the moment we make one by one and understand where is the procedure where is the organization of the factory but it's important to make more connection with designer manufacturing and uh, in the same time with, uh, in this case, Julio, but with the technology, because this uh, uh, give more fast uh, the conversion of the technology, the new, uh, sometimes is a small modification of the machine for arrive to make the very important different product. And this is now the little bit, because the new technology have, have many possibility uh, we work, I repeat, with near 10 different technologies, new technology entry in the, uh, in the fashion uh, or in the sport uh, fashion. Uh, but important is the new, this new step of the connection, the collaboration, I think, uh, Rieta. I totally agree. And this is the reason why, since the beginning, I said it's so uh, unique and was unusual to have a conversation between a machine creator, a crafting master, manufacturer, and designer all together. Because manufacturer, I think now, is really more highlighted from material to the manipulation. And designer can appreciate and can learn and can have more competences. So guys, I think uh, we added many different elements. I don't know if you want to make some more suggestions today, but I think we, all, we already <laughs> started to enter inside of this kind of beautiful, let me say, beautiful and incredible magic world. So, Orietta, I want uh, Orietta. See, go. I, I want to show eventually for understand uh, how big is the possible solution and the market. Mm -hmm. This is one skateboard, <laughs> and we have personalized with many. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all everybody see, but is very incredible different technologies for different technology for personal. Turn it like this because this is the secret, the secret detail you want to share with you today. So Nick <laughs> and Gustavo, do you want to <laughs> have this not all, not little bit, yes. Loreto, Loreto has to kill us after, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is really great. Thank you, but this is another incredible experience because I remember I seen the skateboard. It's made by leather, correct? Yes, yes, correct. Wow, wow. Oh, this is made by leather, wow. Okay. Made by Rita, this leather. is leather too. No. This is with hair and leather inside. Wow. That's awesome. Gorgeous. So I, I do not design what uh, Thing. This is nothing. This is only one experience, no? Mm -hmm. But this is one shine leather and hair inside. It did stay. Eh? This is make it three months and hair stay inside in case I don't take out. So you prove the quality. It's possible. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank wow. you very much. So thank you, thank you very much.
I don't want to take so much of your time because, you know, I can stay here and uh, see sample all day. So because mm -hmm. we are talking about beautiful and magic world. So welcome next September to Linea Pellefer Physical, but also digital, where we will have several moment to speak about how to apply technology. So as you can see here, I'm surrounded by leather. So beautiful leather with a lot of creative solution. So I didn't ask exactly which types of machine they use that, but we will see. I will ask to Julio to come or Loreto or Nico Gustavo next September. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank to all of the participants because we enjoy to listen to you and to start to think and create for the coming season. Grazie Giulio. Grazie, thank you. Thank you, thank you Giulio, thank you Loreto, grazie Loreto. Thank you, thank you very much as well. And thank you Nick and thank you uh, Gustavo. So enjoy yeah. LA. <laughs> thank, thank you very you guys. much. Thank you guys for having us. It's always a pleasure, always. Yeah, it was so a pleasure. Thank you so much. See you very soon. Thank you to all a new point of view attendees. Bye. Ciao, Bye. ciao. Ciao. Bye.